Happy Friday, and welcome to the Brainton Herald Top Headlines for June 20th. Our top story today, Brainton officials are hoping someone can pick up the ball dropped by the Bradenton Front Porch community and restore the historic Covington House. Covington descendants deeded the house to Front Porch in 2007, when the estimated cost to renovate was $500,000. But Front Porch dissolved after the global economic downturn, and officials are looking for someone else who will take up the expensive torch and restore the property, hopefully turning it into a landmark and not demolishing it. In other top news, former Manatee High School quarterback Joshua Meyer pleaded guilty on Thursday to having sexual contact with a 15-year-old girl when he was 17. The victim reported that the sexual activity was forced, which Meyer denies, and Meyer was not charged with sexual battery. Meyer will have a year of probation, have to undergo a psychological evaluation, and complete 40 hours of community service. His attorney said he doesn't believe Meyer will return to Manatee High School for his senior year. The Herald's Jana Morielli continues to cover Universal Studios' newest edition, Diagon Alley, today. In Diagon Alley, which opens July 8th, us smuggles will be able to buy interactive wands, ride the Hogwarts Express, and see a 60-foot-tall fire-breathing dragon on top of Gringotts Bank. Check out the story for more details, video, and pictures, and be sure to follow Jana on Twitter for live updates. I'm Kate Irvy with Bradenton Herald and Bradenton.com.